Hello and welcome. Today I will show you my new plugin called Dynamic Signs. So what is this plugin? Um, this plugin allows you to create signs with animated lines. And I say animated lines and not animated signs because the rest of the sign can be whatever you want. So you can create some random text and then create one line that is animated. Or you can create two lines that are animated. Or three. It depends on what you want. Um, so yeah, uh, in the first example you see like a scrolling text with warning you're using a dynamic uh, science. On the second line you see the uh, RAM usage and ticks per second which is now 20 which it alternates between them. And yeah, let's get into the configuration. So um, the way this works uh, by the way, you can also create uh, sign lines that are unique for each player. Let me create one quick. Line 3, you can name these whatever you want. You can name these uh, example, for example. Uh, text, interval, let's uh, set it to 10. 10 ticks. Random, no, it's not random. And use our health. So, um, I will have to reload real quick. Design reload. Oh, designs reload. Okay. Design line three and oh, it was called example. And this should show your health. If I, um, someone hurt myself, this will update every ten ticks, and it is unique for each player that sees it. So. The configuration. So you uh, had a quick look uh, right now. Um, you may not edit the config version. Uh, you can use language files. So there are like uh, there's a language uh, GML where you can edit this, the uh, messages like when you create a new sign or when you have not you, when you don't have permission to create this dynamic sign. Um, and yeah, uh, back to configuration. Uh, debug mode is uh, just some messages, uh, debug messages. Uh, update check-in, this recommend that you leave this to true to get the latest updates. And then yeah, these three things are actually things you have to tweak. So what this is exactly is um, these sign updates are packages that are sent to the player and you don't want to um, overload or overflood the uh, player with new packages. So the idea is that you wait a few seconds or wait a few ticks before sending the sign updates. Uh, for example on join you can say that it waits around one second before sending those signs. If I show this I'll log off and log in again see that for a few for a second those lines will show uh, like you typed them um, and you may find this annoying or things like that but it actually helps to uh, keep your server lag free and uh, well yeah it's it's a small drawback also the signs uh, this update distance is the distance design update the signs update so if I'm for example seven blocks away it would stop updating you can see it in the background still scrolling but now the middle sign has stopped and if I go here okay both all the three signs have stopped if you can't it's hard to see but uh, they have stopped scrolling and if I go closer again they will start updating again and yeah so that helps to uh, not send sign updates of all signs in your whole world. Uh, so that's good. Um, teleport delay is about the same as the join delay. So the purpose of that is that when you uh, teleport, it not uh, it do doesn't immediately start uh, sending those uh, sign updates. But these are things you have to tweak and test out. Uh, yeah. Then the main part are the lines. So you can create as many uh, animated lines as you want, but you have to pre-configure them. There are like um, different effects available, like the scrolling. Uh, 
there were also like things that repeated a few times so it updates but doesn't change line and you can create uh, it, it's actually a cycle of all these text lines so every interval it will switch to the next uh, line if I for example do this uh, and change this uh, H let me type hello this should work hello one more okay so if I reload this um, okay these signs reload it will ah oh, damn it's hard to read uh, so if you can see it, it will uh, alternate between H, H, E and so on and once it reaches hello it will go back to H. Uh, you can do for example this to um, let it scroll in again uh, but yeah you can create actually anything you want because uh, this is very powerful because it's, it may be hard to configure but you can create any animation you want. Um, I need to remove those spaces okay let me reload again h e hello and go go back to h okay so that's um yeah one example you can do there are loads of examples you can do uh, also in my other plugins the configuration is kind of the same so uh, it shouldn't be hard to learn um about the interval uh, so for example I have the interval set to 4 ticks uh, 20 ticks is 1 second by the way um, it is recommended to keep this around 4 or 20 ticks uh, because well you don't want to uh, rush uh, send a lot of packets packages to the player it will also lag your server a bit if you send it like yeah uh, so if you have like 100 signs that each send uh, uh, sign update uh, every tick to like 100 players that will start to lag your server now the thing is with this plugin uh, the lagging is actually really reduced uh, so it's not like it will save your uh, chunk or change your chunk because you have an animated sign in it uh, since the uh, sign updates are sent unique to each player and the timings are also great if I create a little paste right now so with the examples I just created uh, I'm running I'm recording so my TPS is a bit low but if you're going to look for uh, the actual plugin which is uh, where is it uh, I can't find it where is it oh here it is so yeah a bit join like the teleport uh, the task a few tasks but yeah overall it doesn't lag it's just a few uh, yeah it doesn't lag so it will never lag your server but it can lag it can cause some uh, network lag because you send a lot of packages but again you can all configure this uh, to your needs uh, you can change the update distance, the join delay, the teleport delay, the intervals of or of each uh, line, uh, and so on and so on. Uh, well, random, I think that's kind of obvious. Obvious, it will just randomize those uh, specific lines, and that is actually everything this plugin can offer. Uh, also, there are a lot of placeholders. Uh, this is a uh, just a list and mostly it updates like every week or every two weeks at least at the minimum uh, and there are a lot of plays also from other premium plugins so yeah, yeah jobs or teams or uh, use skyblock um, yeah so there are a lot of things you can do um, the list of placeholders is in the description page of this Pidget plugin and I will link this Pidget plugin itself in the description. Uh, well, see you soon.